What's up everyone, Kyle says here. Welcome back to another episode of the Wii 2K22 My Rise. And in the last video, we did become NXT Champion. And as you see it there, NXT Champion, NXT North American Champion, Kyle Kane. So let's quickly go into our attributes. And let's upgrade our grappling. And that is all we can upgrade. We don't have enough points for anything else right now. And um, let's have a look on social media. After a championship match, full of surprise, Colors is still your NXT champion. That was, of course, from our defense against the demon. He'll be watching, Colors. You won't always have someone to fight battles for you, and I'll win the war. Okay, Finn, whatever you say. So, uh, yeah, let's not waste time. Let's get into uh, this next story or challenge, whatever it is. And let's speak to Dakota Kai, the big dog. What has Dakota got to say? I need to ask you about all the rumors going around. Okay, what rumors? <laughs> what rumors? <laughs> exactly. You know, the ones saying you dated Candice LeRae before she married Johnny Gargano. <laughs> Are they true? Oh, uh, there might be some truth to it all. So we date Candice LeRae before she dated Johnny. I'm a big Candice LeRae fan. If you watch my channel for a while, you've probably known that I absolutely love Candice LeRae. <laughs> Uh, she's one of my favorite women's wrestlers of all time, so I, I make that. So I, this is a fun story for me. <laughs> well, whether it's true or not, Johnny Gargano is coming after your NXT championship, and leaning into the rumors might be a good way to play some mind games with him. Just a suggestion. I think you're onto something. I'm going to pass. I think Dakota is onto something. Johnny wants our belt. We play into the rumors that maybe us and Candice dated a bit. So, yeah, I, I think you're onto something, Dakota. I think you're onto something here. Want to help me out with all this? I'd love to. But if I'm going to do this, I need you to use your pull and get me a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. No problem, Dakota. I'll get you a title shot. No show. problem. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it is. Come from rumor and innuendo. Uh, for if you if you listen to Bruce Pritchard's podcast, uh, like I do a bit, uh, whenever I hear the words "rumor" and "innuendo," I just think of that. So uh, let's get straight into the story and uh, see how this plays out. I have a major announcement to make this week on the Wii NXT. Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae should play very close attention. The rumors are true. The court has turned the pot with the eye emoji. <laughs> let's continue on. We've been waiting all week to hear this major announcement from the NXT champion, so let's find out what he has to say. There's been a lot of rumors and innuendo going around social media the past few weeks, so I'm here tonight to set the record straight. My big announcement is that everything you read is true. I was, in fact, romantically involved with Candice LeRae before she married Johnny Gargano. That's right, she was mine before she was his. It all started in 2015 when Johnny Gargano had just signed with NXT. He put every ounce of his time and energy into making it here. I'm pretty sure in real life in 2015, Johnny, Johnny and Candice you know were, today. they might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they were. all that, he ended up spending more time with his tag partner, Tommaso Ciampa, than his romantic partner, Candice LeRae. Yeah, they were. <laughs> he just confirmed Candace it. was lonely. And things got worse when her boyfriend didn't have the guts to ask NXT management to consider signing her too. She started to think that maybe he was intentionally holding her back. Scared that if she got a chance in NXT, she would outshine him. Nonetheless, she needed a shoulder to cry on. And that shoulder was mine. We dated for a bit and it was okay. But then I got bored and broke things off. And that's when she went crawling back to John. They ended up getting engaged and <laughs> the rest is history. So that's right, Johnny. Everything you've seen and heard is true. Your wife is a fake. And if you or anyone else doesn't believe any of this, that's okay. Because I have proof of every conversation Every late night text, every DM, 
Oh. And oh, here comes Johnny with hackers. And oh, it's, he's not the way Johnny Gargano. He's in his uh, regular Johnny wrestling gear. Why isn't this Gargano in the game as well? <laughs> well, I'm sure the gear is probably in like uh, create wrestler mode. But. The NXT champion clearly wants no part of this. Happy to stir the pot and then run away. He's not running away. He was attacked. You expect him to I wonder if he has Rebel Heart as well. I'll definitely need to see his entrance to see what music comes out there. Rather than later. So before Johnny Gagano attacked me, I was about to say I had proof that everything he said is true. Will it reveal it soon? There is no proof. Shut your mouth and stop spreading lies about my wife. If you don't, I will hurt you down and it will be some. I'll hunt you down and be worse than in the first encounter. Mecca says him once at an indie show before he signed with WWE. That's it. He's making love lies to try to get some kind of edge against my husband. Not going to work. Come on, cancer rate. Don't pretend like those two months weren't the best two months of your life. I warned you to stop and you didn't. Whatever happens now is on you. If it was all made up, then why would you be getting so upset? And then they go out again, stirring the pot, but then interesting. So uh, let's continue on and see where this goes. The WWE Universe so here we are, NXT and Gatsby we're facing Gargano. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. We got Making the gold around our waist. From your NXT champion, he beat Finn Balor in the last episode, then defended against the Demon. So let's get into the ring and let's see what happens. Who we face him? Facing Kushida. We've already had a couple of matches against Kushida, so let's get straight into it. Let's like skip some. We've already seen bits of it. We've already faced off against Kushida a couple of times. And you can sense the anger emanating. And let's get ready for this match. Damage Kushida with Axe. So guess me damage Kushida and guess me Tony Gargano's gonna run in because he's been talking about him and Candice. Let's quickly damage Kushida if he would stop reversing us. Yeah, a real genius for wrestling. It's only a matter of time before you see the latest and greatest from Kushida. When you combine his ingenuity with his indomitable fighting spirit, you really get lift off. He misses the Reverse the moonsault. Flight, but Big boot to the back. Missed with the sent on. Kushida, let me get some offense and let me just damage you. Isolated. Oh, big threat to the arm, of course. You know, work is over for the hoverboard lock. Is Kushida no, go behind and drop him into the kick? And now raining down the big right hands. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, stop it away. Let's keep working on Kushida here. And Kushida didn't have the right timing to avoid that attack. He planned for this and could still rally. Into the fisherman suplex. Kushida falling victim to an onrush now. And a Kamagoye. A big knee strike. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter Let's get pumped in. Oh, I want to take his head off with the knee. We'll just kick him in the back instead. Hit Kushida with a standing strike, which I'm guessing is what's going to trigger a cutscene here, so let's do it. And oh, here comes Gargano again with the attack. And oh, here comes Candice with a chair. Are we going to duck and she's going to nail Gargano? Please. Oh, here comes Dakota making the slave for us. And drops Candace and oh, I love long Johnny. I can't believe these two are working together. And oh, DDT. We 
we've seen Dakota Kai chime in on the champion's claims on social media, but now she just took her support to a whole new level. I don't know about anyone else, but I'd really like some answers right now. The big dog spanking in Dakota Kai. The champion is certainly taking a toll on NXT's first couple. <laughs> so let's continue on and see what's next. You may be wondering why Dakota Kai got involved. My path, I'll let her explain. But she is the proof. One or two, that's right. So it could have been quite a protective friend. Who hasn't been there for me in years. Everything God has said, has said is true. I know because Candace said something. I know because Candace can find in me when it happened. The worst part is after Carlos broke up with Candace, she told me the only reason she's going back to Johnny was to get a job in NXT. Terrible and Marge built on lies. Okay, they got a okay, nice proof. Don't know why they're doing this. Money, jealousy. I stopped talking to you because I couldn't trust you. Clearly, shut your mouth. Stop this, Carlos, or it's going to get bad. For who? You, your wife, both of you. Regal terms in. Well, this has gotten out of hand. There will be no more attacks. You will settle this in the ring in no DQ match for the NXT Championship. But first of all, you will face off in a mixed tag team match on NXT. Can't wait to see you again, Candice LeRae. So, um... And then Nicole says, you're very good at this, but the thing is made up about... We're going back to Johnny for John NXT. It was a nice touch. Thanks. I really think we've got him completely off his game for a tight match. I agree, so how about the women's championship might look for me? The deal you remember. Not official yet, but don't worry. It will happen. Let's focus on the mixed touch match and defend my title for now. And the course is okay. So mixed tag match, let's get straight into it. So here we are for our mixed tag team match. Us and Dakota. Plus Gargano and Candice. They see us and Captain Dakota Kai, the big dog's team, big dog. On the way to the ring, the assassin. I'm a big Dakota Kai fan, so I beat the team up with her. As I mentioned, I'm a massive Candice LeRae fan as well. Together, my wish just came true. So the story has been fun. And their opponents, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae. We have a great pairing here tonight. Two superstars who you know are going to give it their all to the final battle. So he has the Johnny Gagano Titan Tron, which I wish was in the game. Yeah, along with his gear, but er, but it sounds like it's just uh, it's not rebel art. It sounds like it's a bit the uh, the wave team that he used. So um Yeah. So anyway, Johnny Gargano, Mark Connor, Kyle King and Dakota Guy in the other when the pinfall or permission, so let's do it. You know what? Let's tag in the Kota Kai and let's use the Kota Kai for a bit. As long as we get control Kota, yeah, we do. So we use Kyle King the whole time, so why not switch it up and use the Kota Kai while we have the opportunity? And it doesn't say we have to win with one or the other, so let's just pick Addison Murray with the Kota Kai, the captain of oh, Team Kick. Of course, two very great professional wrestlers are Candice and Dakota. I'm very excited to see um, what they do next. Because uh, I believe Dakota recently got released by WWE. Very intrigued to see where she rocks up. And we work over the arm of Candice LeRae into the takedown. And a big knee onto Candice. Good miss with that one though. Miss with the big boot as well as Candice fires off. Hits a big suplex. You get that reversal which is big. Roll through. Into the face buster. Turn her over into the cover. One. One count only says the referee. So we're going to continue our assault with that double foot stomp. Targeting the arm with great effect. Big kick by Dakota Kai. We get that reversal back. Just put the arm into the big kick. And a big kick. 
A big kick. Duck under scorpion kick. Let's go for it. Finisher. It's gonna be the chiropractor. No. Just into the kick. Hook the leg. Johnny. He failed to win the match by pinfall or submission ring. So because Johnny got in the ring and broke up the pin, I failed the match because I didn't win by pinfall. Oh my god. Anyway, let's just rematch it. The time for talk is over as the NXT that is so frustrating. Because Johnny got into the ring and went to break up the pin, he got the cued for hitting me. And because I didn't get a pin or submission, I failed the objective, which means I have to do the rematch, even though I basically won the other match, I would have pinned it. So, uh, that is first grand, so let's just quickly try to put or Gano, I guess. Or Candice, maybe. I'll make the tag, let's just work over Johnny for now. That is frustrating though, very very frustrating. Because I didn't lose the match, I won, I had a Candice pinned, it's just because Gargano went to break it up, he got the cue. I'm the Louis games, literally any bit of contact to, yeah, in a mixed tag match where, even if it is just a break up like that. And because I needed a pin or submission for the objective, because it was technically a DQ for breaking up the pin, uh, I had to restart it, which is so annoying and a waste of time, but let's just quickly speed run it, as we've already done damage on Johnny Gargano, with a big elbow, big quarter style kick, send him over into the corner, big knee, followed up by the Bulldog, Irish whip senses out of the ring. See the big dragon screw. Johnny gets the reversal. And we get that big running knee. So let's send him into the ring and hopefully we can put him away. Here he comes, sliding back in. Take the head off and Gargano's failing to make any advances. Gargano has to retreat and rethink his German suplex into the ripcord. Lariat. Let's set Johnny up for the finish. Boot to the midsection. Package pile driver. Hopefully, Candace doesn't break it up. One, and she does. But you see, because it was a woman breaking up a pin on a man, it's not DQ, but if it was the other way around, like you seen the last time, we would have got DQ. It is what it is. We lock in the tequila sunrise. Again, Candace breaks it up. So we're going to go for another submission. Rings the satin this time. I'm literally just gonna try to put Johnny away with anything. Rings are starting again. I think it might still be in ropes. Stretched out like taffy right now. There's the save. How close is that? Gets broken up again. Both wrists captured it. Big knee. That's gotta be it. There's two. And again, broken up by Candy. No. Why did it switch my target? Oh my god. The time for talk is over as the NXT champion teams up with Dakota Kai. I attempt number three and we're gonna go with Kota on Candice. See maybe we just get broke up. Oh this hit is so annoying. It doesn't get any juicier than this and you have to love it. Oh grow up, Corey. Oh literally, why did it change my target? I was literally 
I pressed the button to attack Gagano and it, like, as I did it, it changed my target onto Candid. So, so annoying. And I ended up getting a silly DQ, like, oh my god. Mixed tag, I hit mixed tag matches, they're so annoying. Literally, this light is a mistake can cost you and you have to get a rematch. Or even sometimes you can't make a mistake with the AI, like, just attacks you as it breaks up a pin. And it, for some reason, it can like, oh, it's just annoying. As the captain of Team Kick just gonna work on Candice Ray. So yeah, I can pick Gargano out with the coat and go for covers, which it's honestly, it's probably the play, because I, if I, I can't take Candice out, because I'll get DQ'd if I use Kyle, so I have to use the Kota, pick up the one, it'd be the easiest way possible, without getting accidentally disqualified, unless Gargano reverses me, then I'll probably, then I'll probably, like, throw my controller out the window. Like, why go to knock Gargano off the apron and he accidentally, I mean, like, he reversed me. Ah, he's stuck on the floor anyway. Missed with the foot stomp. Missed with the kick and Candice gains control with the grapple. Side slam. Why? Candice Luray into the neck breaker. I'm gonna just make up, hit the insecurity. And that foot stomp. Get caught into the dragon screw. Get that reversal in. Axe and smash on the nation kicks. Now it's set her up for the sake. Thunderous kick. And another one. And finished off. Up on the shoulders. Into the PK. Hook at the leg. One. Johnny. Get out of here. Get out of here, Gargano. Will this work? One, two, and one. This work. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trying to start. Byron, she can do this just like you've done your whole career. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Oh uh, no, she reversed me into the super dragon style. Stepsister, can you believe it? Curve stomp, wicked stepsister. I ain't selling that. <laughs> <laughs> no soul, get up. Let's bump Johnny off the apron. So we can get her up. And she reversed it though. And she reverses with the knee. Um, gets the block on a good pump kick. Dakota wards off the attack. He's reversed. Oh. Done their homework. Looking wildly in the corner. Oh, that gets reversed on Larray. Big pump kick. Bump Johnny. Drop kick all the way to the floor. 
submission hold. Third quarter away. I'm um, weak out it. Oh, that was first for Peyton. Voice V, uh, once Johnny broke up with him and got disqualified, so he had to restart because we didn't get the pin for submission. Second in time, uh, I accidentally hit Panda Silveray because I changed my focus and I ended up getting disqualified. The third time, lucky, we were able to get the win and complete the challenge. So let's continue on this feud and get to that big part of the fence against Gargano. I guess the truth coming out is really bothering Johnny and Candace. They were clearly distracted by the mixed tag, especially Candace. She was staring at me the entire time. She misses you. The last conversation we had was around the time you signed with NXT. She thought she could handle you being in the same locker room. Obviously, can't. Not going to be. Not going to respond to any more lies from either of you. I will do my talking in the ring when I take your NXT Championship. 100% Johnny Gargano. What's the 100 for the number of times you hooked up with guys? Eyes laughing, fire, popcorn emojis. Let's get into our big match with Gargano. The way is almost over. No more rumors. This is happening. Kylos vs Gargano in ODQ NXT Championship at NXT TakeOver. In your house, NXT TakeOver. Are you guys ready? No DQ match against Johnny Wrestling. And we caught a guy in a corner. Four, Here comes your and NXT champion. NXT Championship. Introducing the champion. Accompanied by Dakota Kai from Ireland. Playing in at two. So let's not waste time. Let's skip our entrance. We've seen it enough. I want to see Johnny's though. See if it's different than his in game one. Introducing the challenger. Here comes Johnny Wrestling. From Cleveland, with Candice. Weighing in at 190. And it does seem to be the first Johnny Gargano entrance again, different from the way one that he has in game. Define who this young man is. As we see Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. What's it about? Johnny Gargano that makes him as good as he is today. Unparalleled heart. Johnny Gargano has been through it all his and Let's career. get into this match. A big party defense. No DQ. Gargano challenges King. In your house. Let's go to the ring for our big introductions. There's your champion with the belt. K I N G Kyle King. This building crackling with and There you see the goal the on the line. Is on the line. And let's the get straight to it. We already know how we're starting this matchup. Uh, gets a reversal. Into the neck breaker. And I'm getting worried already because our objective is damaged on the Gargano with attacks. We might get screwed out of our belt with like a cutscene here. So let's see how this works. It is no DQ as well, so interference is possible. As we unload on Johnny Gargano. Again, Johnny wrestling out the back. Again with the reversal. And oh, big hurricane. That looks sweet. And I used to far away for that springboard. And we get the disaster kick. And it is no DQ. We are going to bring out our friend the Kendo Stick. Cracked Johnny over the head with it. And again, vicious attack here on Gargano. Reverse into the Rana. Gonna nip up and catch him with a knee. Rocks Johnny. And again, just knee straight to the head. 
into the Falcon or the Phoenix Bash, sorry. I was thinking of our signal for the Falcon Arnold. Irish whip Gargano into his corner. No, that is not his corner. There we go. Whipping Gargano into his corner. Hold on, it looks like Dakota Kai is trying to remove the opposite turnbuckle pad. Dakota Kai removing the turnbuckle. Ref, what are you doing? It's no DQ. And oh, here comes Candice. Candice LeRae now getting involved. And oh, shoulder tackled by LeRae. Candice LeRae with the jawbreaker. Big oh, kick by Gargano. That was a fast counter ref. I was screwed. All he's been through, but it didn't happen without some level of controversy. Gargano's wife, Candice LeRae, now handing him the NXT championship. Screwed. I was exactly screwed. What she did when she got involved in the match. Dakota Kai would have done the exact same thing or worse. It doesn't take anything away from Gargano's win. It, the former champion from behind. I was screwed out my belt. Flying off the apron. She hit pretty hard. And suddenly for Johnny Gargano, jubilation turns to concern for his wife. We all just hope she's okay. Maybe we do, but the now former champion looks content to have gotten some form of payback on the first couple of NXT, intentional or not. I want my championship back. That was a screw job. From over between these three. Hopefully we get a rematch. Let's continue on and see where this goes next. Justice, Truth and Right Over Wrong prevailed at NXT TakeOver and New. Candice sends a load of her truth before Gargano forced his wife to attack me in the match. She was telling me how she made a huge mistake and wanted to fix everything between us and help me beat him. It's over, you can stop now if anyone... There's so much going on, I can't keep up. <laughs> Uh, so it's over. You can stop if anyone is stupid enough to believe this crap. I finally have proof. That was a lie. I'll hit up right the Kai. Time to come clean. Kyler's promised me an NXT and Championship shot. If I help make up all those lies to gain an edge against Gargano, he never delivered on his promise. So I'm done. I have DMs to prove it. The guys want you out. So that's your proof, Gargano. A known liar. Same as your proof, right? When <laughs> if she, and if she's just a liar, then why should we believe anything she said before? Good point. So now we know where the winner's purse money from our match went. Follow the money, hashtag bribe. Just give it up. It's pathetic. And by the way, unlike you, I don't need to make up a bunch of lies to try. Hold on to my title. I'll be happy to beat you again anytime. Okay, let's do it. The truth is I'm better than you. And just like I borrowed your wife, you're just borrowing my title. He had better mart material when I was writing it. One battle wasn't enough. To settle this war, the rematch for the NXT Championship will be a last man standing match on NXT. And we will get into that rematch in the next video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.